I wonder why it's a big deal that Kanye calls himself Yeezus. Well, I'm about to an analyze that for a second, because it is an interesting cliche that's happened at least since the 1960s where people have started calling themselves God. And I like how we're seeing a progression of who starts doing that and what the roles essentially are. Here's the thing. Historically, human beings there's always been a, one of them that has called themselves God. There's always been one. Whether it's Caligula, or whether it's Cleopatra saying she's a reincarnation of Isis. <clears throat> a lot of these people who had political power, who were really in the throne, did consider themselves God, or wanted others to identify them as gods. There's also a lot of Asian authoritarian systems of the past. The leader was always considered somewhat of a god. <clears throat> but now, as the world is becoming more democratized and secularized, the idea of whose God is starting to become a lot more interesting. You had Eric Clapton, who was known as God in the 60s and 70s, and how come? I really don't know. Like, is he that good of a guitar player? I don't think so. The most impressive song I heard from him was Tears in Heaven, and that was like in the 90s. And the licks in between were somewhat cliche, so... <clears throat> is, is it just because he's the Baby Boomer's quintessential hero? A lot of rappers are calling themselves God now. Uh, I think all of them called themselves God, at least at one point. Lil Wayne called himself God in a song, a Trey Songz song, actually. That also had Drake in it. Nas calls himself God's son, but he also calls himself God in a way, and draws a lot of those parallels. But it made sense with guys like Nas and rappers from the 90s because they were kids of Black Panthers or they studied from the 5% nation so they had some type of role for their community they could consider themselves somewhat black idols in a way or kids of black idols inheritors of the earth Kanye can't do this. He's just a black guy in skinny jeans. So much so that whenever there's a video of a black guy in skinny jeans, some people accidentally think it's Kanye. For example, that video where a black guy in skinny jeans was decking people and punching them that became viral not too long ago. People really thought that was Kanye. Even I thought it was Kanye. Because that's all Kanye is. He's a black guy that wears girly Chanel and really loves them skinny jeans and stuff of that nature. But I know it's a lot of the college crowd, the college liberals that dwell on the cities, they look to Kanye as a hero. And that explains to me why why he's considered somewhat of a god because in this world of secularization you need someone that has that kind of attitude that they are going to identify as a higher being 
that they are going to say, hey, you know what, the hierarchy, I'm at the top. That's why you have this fake ass Illuminati bullshit. I mean, a lot of stuff behind that is credible. Like monarch programming, but uh, masonry. But it's all just Jewy shit for the most part, too. So, this Illuminati shit that's started in the mid 90s and became really hot in the past four or five years. Uh, Jay-Z was not getting Illuminati accusations 10 years ago. He wasn't getting them uh, 15 years ago by far. He, it's a contemporary thing. Same goes with Beyonce. That's still such a dumb name for me, but... There has to be this fake hierarchy shit because... Everyone's empty, so they're gonna rely on the rapper that sounds like a goat that's having anal sex uh, to identify as a god. I mean, he's not a good lyricist. He half-asses and makes it seem like he's quarter-assing just so that he can seem like he's talent, more talented than he actually is and he's just holding back. That's essentially the concept for his past four albums and a lot of, I guess you can say, yuppies, hipsters, brahmins, definitely brahmins. They like that kind of irony where I'm a good player but I'm gonna dumb myself down to your level. Isn't that ironic? No, that's stupid. That is what I'd expect from a dumbass nigga like Kanye. I mean, well, what's that shitty ass song that was big a few years ago? From my beautiful dark fantasy or some shit like that? The one that just goes doom, doom, doom. Let's see. Just give a toast to douchebags or something like that. That was terrible. That was just like... Had no compositional value. He's not even trying. A lot of beats from his current album are shit. It's just annoying and supposed to get stuck to your head. And I'm sure he's thinking, well, that's the point. Nah, you fucking Brahmins. Fuck all of you. Learn some real humor, try, uh, get a sense of dignity, because you're not going to age well. This nigga's going to kill himself when he turns in his 40s or some shit like that. Or maybe even five years from now, he's just going to put a bullet in his head because he can't take it anymore. You guys want a fucking hero? Well, you had your chances. You're going to get some more chances, but... It's not going to be the epic Brahmin uh, uh, food stamps and gay sex kind of hero. It's going to be a legitimate one. It's going to be one that's going to solve some legitimate problems and fill in the existential void that we've been creating for ourselves for the past 50 or 60 years. Definitely building up from hundreds of years in the past. the void of dwindling nationalism, dwindling identity, and essentially militant emptiness. We're militantly trying to destroy things that have value for ourselves, like a our religion, like patriarchy, things of this nature. A lot of reaction is going to be full of weirdness. A lot of it is mostly a sales pitch for Freaksters. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And it's still better than this. This is Mr. Wonka 7 and. Fuck Kanye West. He ain't no god. He just a nigga in skinny jeans.